you are doing well. Uh, in this video, we are going to learn about how to implement Firebase phone authentication in our application. Because we have already completed the authentication screens of the app, uh, one is the entering a phone number and another is receiving and verifying a verification OTP, right? So now let's get started. First thing that we have to do is go to the Firebase console and create a project inside this. So I have already created a green taxi project inside the Firebase console. And now I'm going to register my Flutter app using uh, Flutter Fire CLI, okay? Uh, first thing is you have to prepare your workspace, okay? So we have already prepared our workspace by creating a Flutter project and have some UI work, right? And next thing that you have to do is log in your account, okay? Let me show you how you guys can log in. Uh, first of all, you have to write Firebase login, okay? Uh, once you execute this code, uh, you will be prompted by a URL uh, or redirected to a URL that login yourself over here. So you guys can see I am already logged in with this account. So I don't need to log in again. So I have already created a Flutter project. Now let's click on next button. After this, uh, it is saying that you have to activate Flutter Fire CLI. So it is must if you want to register your Flutter app with Firebase, you should configure your Flutter Fire CLI. So for this, I have already created a video on how to configure Flutter Fire CLI. I will give the link in the description. So go and watch that video first. Uh, after this, we have to copy this entire command. Let's link. And after copying this link, we have to move to the project and paste this command in the terminal, right? And let's press enter. Okay, so basically now uh, this command is fetching the details of this particular project, right? Uh, let's wait. Okay, so basically uh, this project has been fetched successfully in the terminal. And now it is saying uh, which platform should your configuration support. So for now, I want to use Android and iOS. So I'm okay with this. Now let's press enter. And now it is creating or registering Android with Firebase. Okay. Uh, Android app has been registered right now it is working on the iOS app so this is the package name for Android and this is package name for iOS right so basically flutter fire CLI is an amazing tool it reduce the manual work <clears throat> like we did last year we just have to register our app and then we will download the file and replace and so many stuff so it is saying that if it need any changes to your build.gradle file, are you okay with this? So I'm just printing yes because I'm happy with this. So now you guys can see uh, our app has been registered successfully. Let me show you. Uh, click next and yes. Make sure you just copy this line. Uh, let's copy it and paste inside your main dot dot here because it is required. Uh, it will give us error because for this we have to import a plugin called uh, Firebase Core. Let's see. Uh, for this, uh, it is saying that you must import this plugin, right? So let's register it. I'm going to click on console, continue to console, and give it a refresh. So I can show you that our two application has been registered successfully. So yeah, you guys can see it is Android and another is iOS. So next thing we have to do is uh, simply we have to move toward Flutter Fire and over here we have to click on get started and scroll a little bit. Yeah, we just have to copy this line and paste over here, right? So basically uh, this is another way of installing uh, dependency from pubspec.yml letter pub add <coughs> and then your firebase or your package name right here it will download all the related packages next thing is simple we just have to import this uh, package uh, give me a suggestion okay come on come on so 
sometime it takes time like now so i'm going to do it manually i'm just copying this line also this too and yeah guys you can see it has been uh, the error has been solved correct error has been fixed and now what we have to do is called widgets widgets flutter binding dot ensure initialized okay after this we have to add flutter pub add firebase underscore auth okay so this basically add a firebase authentication plugin inside our pubspec.ml file uh, which we'll be using for authentication purpose and it's been added successfully let's confirm we have to go towards pubspec file and yeah it's been added over here so today we are going to implement uh, phone authentication right let me run application as well uh, for now application is running I'm going to create a folder inside lib all our uh, logic of authentication will be inside a controller folder right controller and inside this folder I'm going to create a dart file auth controller okay now I'm going to create a class auth controller that is extending get x controller okay after this i have created a handy methods for you guys in order to save uh, some of your time so i'm going to copy and paste it right away so here it is uh, basically uh, let me off this uh, i have created a phone authentication function uh, that basically handle all the authentication of the firebase right and let's import a few things okay guys let me show you this is basically for storing user uid and this is the verification code recent token and full auth check this is some checks and then we have uh, credential variable okay when this phone uh, function is called it accept a phone Okay, phone number and then it verify uh, actually we have a function called firebase auth instance dot verify phone number this function is basically responsible for authentication using uh, phone number okay first parameter is phone number we have to provide it and then we have to provide the timeout uh, how much time this send it OTP will be uh, valid right once uh, or to, once the verification is done automatically uh, then this function will be called and all the logic over here will be implemented after this we have force resending token so this is a token uh, that we will be using for resending token suppose uh, if you don't get a token in the 60 second so you will be able to get another token right this function is called when the verification is filled and as name suggests this function is called when code has been sent right away okay so now let's get started uh, let me move toward the <coughs> login dot dot file login screen yeah in this screen uh, basically I have to create a function uh, what will be the function is on submit that takes in string as an input okay and we have to provide this function to our the login widget because login widget contains a text field let me show you yeah this one so when this text field has been or on submitted function has been uh, triggered so we have to execute our that function right so we have to pass this to the login widget so over here let me expect a function on submit okay this will be triggered when on submit has been called on submit give us a string okay we have to call on submit function with this input 
after this we have to provide this on submit function right over here on submit that is basically we have to that we have already sub on submit sub on submit right that we have created on here right so once we get the uh, input from this text field what we have to do is we just have to navigate user to the OTP verification screen let me show you get dot to OTP verification screen and we have to send this input to input and let's expect this phone number over here phone number OTP verification screen we have to expect this in the constructor okay it's done so uh, besides sending this phone number we also have to send the <coughs> dial code so for this I'm going to continue it as we have already a uh, country code object over here that contains dial code too so we have to call country code dot dial code right and once this on submit is called we will be redirected to this screen let me show you how it working now I have hot restarted so yeah apps app has been restarted and now let me write my phone number double three five nine eight six double three one okay so when I click on this this means submit button it will it will call uh, our on submit function and it will uh, navigate to the on OTP verification screen so yeah guys you can see we got we got uh, navigated to this screen so that's okay till now okay as we already got the phone number we just have to call in it state in it state so right over here uh, as you guys know I have created a auth controller that contains phone auth right let me create an object of this dependency right over here get dot put sorry why it is not coming auth controller get dot put and we have to call auth controller so that way we basically create a object or of the dependency so inside the init state i have to call auth controller dot phone auth and it accept this phone number so i have to pass widget dot phone number once this has been called right so what we will get if you guys can see the logs uh, when verification is completed we will get a printed completed on field we will got field when the code has been sent we will get a send code in case of any error we will get the error message so the next thing the next step that i want to perform is uh, when someone uh, like one two three four five six okay it's it's five so make sure we have to convert it to six because the firebase code is basically six digits so we have to convert it to six to where it is rounded this one and yeah uh, here length we have to provide this six so good till now when user type something right over here and when he entered last widget so it will be completed so we have to execute a function over here so that function will be verify OTP that I have already created for you guys in order to save some of your time I'm going to just paste right over here this function is now accepting a OTP number and verification ID verification ID is uh, variable that are being initialized when phone authentication has been called right so now let's let's do the remaining work inside pinport widget uh, I have this pinport field right and on this widget we have special function called on completed this basically provide us with a input and a function right so basically we have to execute the phone verification right over here for this I have to first of all 
find my auth controller that I have created auth controller and auth controller get dot find auth controller okay after this I have to call auth controller dot verify otp and I have to provide this input once this function has been called I will be printing that this function has been called and once and the verification is successfully completed uh, we will get this login function so let me show you I'm going to restart the app app has been restarted and yeah guys basically I have missed few steps for you uh, first of all uh, after this you just have to go uh, to the firebase console Okay, here is my Firebase console. Uh, you have to enable. Uh, you just have to click on. Let me expand this. You have to click on authentication, and inside authentication, you have to go inside sign-in method, and make sure you enable this phone authentication. Okay, after you enable this phone authentication, you will be able to use it. Right? As you guys can see, I have already created one user for testing purpose. So. Uh, the next thing that you have to do after enabling uh, phone authentication method is you have to go towards project setting and you have to provide your SHA1 fingerprint how you can get SHA1 fingerprint is just click this and you will get a code let me show you yeah uh, if you are on Windows, you have to execute this code. If you are in Mac, you have to execute this code, right? So I'm in on Mac, so I have executed this code and I got a fingerprint which I added already over here. So these are very two very important steps you have to follow. After this, you are good to go. Let me restart it again and let's see the result. Uh, let me show you uh, we have to go towards authentication if you want to add a, a test user you can add it uh, okay okay you guys can see I have already added a test user but I'm not going to use it uh, because I'm going to show you the actual work yeah it's removed so now let's again restart it and let me show you how it works okay guys app has been uh, restarted and here I'm going to type in my phone number in order to show you the actual result double three one five nine eight six double three one now if I click on the submit button now you guys can see auth controller has been created has been initialized and yeah captcha has been called too verifying you are not a reward this is basically called when you are working with a phone authentication so yeah now it is saying that code has been sent successfully now let's wait for it so in order to receive it so our code is 5319970 let me enter it 53 what was that 5399 and 70 okay so when i entered the last digit, uh, digit it's been uh, the on completed function has been called and yeah guys you can see a uh, login has been uh, printed also our ID has been created so basically this means that our user has been successfully registered and let me show you how it looks in the uh, database so yeah guys it is it is here so uh, this is for now thank you so much for watching the video uh, stay tuned.